Have you ever looked into your baby's eyes and wondered, are they trying to tell me something? The answer is, yes, they are. Even before they can speak, babies are constantly communicating. From facial expressions to body movements to sounds, every coo, cry, and wiggle has meaning. In this video, we'll break down the science behind infant communication, how babies express their needs, emotions, and thoughts, and how you can better understand what your little one is really saying. Let's dive in. Communication starts at birth. In fact, infants are biologically wired to connect with their caregivers. Studies show that from the very first days, babies use eye contact, crying, sucking, movement, and facial expressions to get your attention and build trust. This early communication is all about survival and bonding. It helps you meet their needs and builds a strong emotional connection. Crying is a baby's first language, and it's incredibly sophisticated. Babies cry in different tones and patterns depending on what they need. Researchers have identified specific types of cries, a rhythmic cry for hunger, a whiny cry for discomfort, and an urgent sharp cry when in pain. Listening closely over time helps you start to decode what your baby is saying, even without words. By just a few weeks old, babies begin using facial expressions to interact. A wide-eyed stare, a smile, or a furrowed brow, these tiny cues are powerful tools of communication. Eye contact helps build social connection. Smiles encourage interaction and bonding. Turning away can signal overstimulation or fatigue. Babies also use body language to communicate long before they can talk. These movements are rich in meaning. Kicking can indicate excitement or energy. Fist clenching might signal tension, hunger, or stress, and arching the back could mean discomfort or overstimulation. Recognizing these signals can help you respond faster and more effectively. Between six and eight weeks, babies begin to coo. These are early vocal experiments and signs of social interest. By four to six months, you'll hear babbling, which lays the foundation for speech. Responding with words, smiles, and eye contact helps your baby learn the give and take of conversation. This concept is called serve and return. Your baby serves a sound, movement, or look, and you return with a response. This back and forth is one of the most important ways to build your baby's brain. Every positive interaction helps develop language, emotional regulation, and cognitive skills. Have you ever caught yourself using a high-pitched sing-song voice with your baby? That's called infant-directed speech, or baby talk. It's not just cute. It's scientifically proven to capture your baby's attention, help them learn language, and build emotional bonds. Your baby may not speak yet, but they are listening, observing, and feeling every response you give. When you respond with warmth and consistency, your baby feels safe, and their communication skills grow stronger. Let's recap what we've learned about infant communication. Babies are born ready to connect. Cries are complex and meaningful. Expressions and movements speak volumes. Cooing and babbling are steps toward speech. Serve and return interactions build brains. Your loving responses shape their development. Which signal does your baby use most? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your story. If you found this helpful, give the video a like, tap subscribe, and hit the bell for weekly baby tips, parenting insights, and developmental guidance. Thanks for watching, and keep listening, because your baby is already talking.